Hey YouTube, it's Amber. So today in this video I'm going to be doing you a quick little guide on how to care for your pug and basically just some kind of weekly cleaning things that you should do. I mean some of these things people say do you know every day or whatever but I think it's just if you do it whenever you can then you're good to go. So the first thing that you are going to need is going to be a pug and this is my pug, this is Bentley, he is four and yeah he's going to be the model for today. I have two pugs, I have a pug called Bentley and I also have a black pug called Mercedes. But Bentley is a little bit more docile so he will be easy to kind of demonstrate what I'm doing. So the first thing that you should do if you have a pug is to clean their wrinkles basically. And I do just like to use baby wipes, these are just from Johnson's, but you can use a like wet cloth or whatever you really have. Um, just make sure like if it's scented and stuff like that that it doesn't irritate them, but to be honest I find these to be fun. Now pugs kind of don't really like having their wrinkles done, I think it's not a very nice sensation. So I just get the baby wipe, fold it a couple of times and you're just going to go right in to that main wrinkle. And as you can see he's going to squirm around a bit but you want to get it right in and around underneath his eyes and you'll see you'll just pick out maybe some hairs and a little bit of dirt. Um, some pugs are more likely to get dirt in their wrinkles than others but yeah, Bentley can get slightly irritated in his under eye area, so you just want to wipe all around the eye. The next thing you want to do with your pug is to is to check their eyes, and basically Bentley has had an eye ulcer before, so I do keep you know track of his eyes to look out for like eye ulcers things. They're gonna, the dog is going to be like squinting, the eyes are maybe going to be like watery, and there might be some kind of like gunk kind of coming out of the eye. So if you see any of that, I would highly suggest you take like a closer look or obviously go to a vet. Another issue that Bentley does actually have is he gets extremely dirty ears. Now I really don't know why this is because our other pug, Mercedes, her, her ears are fine whereas Bentley seems more like susceptible to like dirty ears. I like to use for Bentley's ears these two products. It kind of depends if we think the ear is slightly like irritated we'll go in with this one just because this one is like antibacterial whereas this one is more of just something that you should be doing like every week or so anyway. I use the normal one on him. Now Bentley does not like this so he probably isn't going to really let me do it but I will just show you. And you're just going to basically once you've dropped it into the ear just massage the ear a little bit. And then I also just like to go in with a little cotton round and basically just rub the ear. Now you should never obviously go in the ear. Can you pretend that up, sweetie? You should obviously never go like in the ear because that's going to hurt. But you can like rub around. So again, just to do the other side, I'm just going to lift his ear up, drop a little bit in, and then just massage. And then just massage his ear a little bit to kind of like help, I guess, kind of lift like the dirt and stuff out. And then again, I just like to go in with a cotton round and just rub it in just like the little bit of the ear that you can see. Um, I'm not going to go, I'm not going to go like in the ear. I'm just kind of rubbing the bits that I can see. So that is the ears done. You also, for all of this, you might want to have a little biscuit for them. You might just want to check their teeth. So just lift their gums up, check their teeth, and obviously you can go ahead and brush them. Um, another thing that I like to do as well is to clip the claws. Now I just use a like scissor type of one. I know you can get one where you like put the nail in and shut it. I'll insert a picture so it makes more sense. The way that I like to do this is to like sit him like up on my lap and then I will go in and do his nail. If you have a pug that is going to wriggle around a lot more, it's going to be way easier if you get someone else to hold them and then do it the same way. Basically, you get their little foot, get that and then just clip away. You want to make sure um, that you get enough off. I've recently done Bentley's so I'm not going to do them all for you. But he has black claws, so you really want to make sure you don't get the quick and make them bleed, but you can buy like the thing to make the blood stop. The last thing that I'm going to mention, just as a little routine for your pug, is to brush them because 
if you have a born pug or white pug, you probably know that they shed a lot. Um, I find black ones don't shed quite as much because I think the born ones have like a double coat or something like that. But um, I picked up the Verminator, which I just picked up from Pets at Home. You obviously get your pug, get your brush. Now I would advise doing this outside or maybe like in the bath or somewhere where the hair's not gonna go everywhere. I'm just showing you, but you're just gonna brush it down then. Make sure you don't push too hard. The brush should really do the work for you. And then you'll find you'll get fur like this. And the thing with the Therminator is you just press the little thing on the top and it will just push the hair out for you. So I really hope that helped you with just some general pug care. Um, that's just how I do Bentley and that works for us. So yeah, obviously there are some other things that I do at different times, obviously like a bath and things like that. But this is just a fairly basic, quick and easy thing that I tend to do, you know, once a week, once every two weeks or whatever. So thank you so much for watching and I will speak to you in my next video. Bye guys. It's Amber. So today in this video, I'm going to be doing a MAC Lipstick 101.